Welcome to labpedia.net, which is your source for clinical lab test information. Today I'm going to talk about the pregnancy test. The pregnancy test, first of all, what sample we can perform this test. One of them, the most commonly used is the morning urine sample. And this test you can also do on the serum of the patient. Now, what are the precautions uh, for performing this test? You have to do the test in the first 48 hours. If it is delayed, then freeze the sample at minus 20 centigrade. And do not repeat thawing and freezing again and again. If the serum is hemolyzed or lipemic, it will give you false result. While hematuria and the proteinuria they give false positive tests. In that case, I will advise to centrifuge the sample and take the supernatant and perform the test on supernatant material. Now, what are the indications for pregnancy test? This is usually done for the diagnosis of the pregnancy. You can perform this test during high risk pregnancy, for ectopic pregnancy, and for screening of the Down syndrome, and this can be used as a tumor marker. As regards the pathophysiology, human chorionic gonadotropin hormone is basically glycoprotein, and it consists of two subunits. One is the alpha subunit, and the other one is the beta subunit. For the diagnosis of pregnancy, we usually confirm the prognosis by beta SCG unit. And beta SCG unit is antigenic in nature, so you can produce antibodies against beta SCG unit. Now, SCG stimulates corpus luteum in the first week of the pregnancy, and corpus luteum produces progestone. Progestone prevents the menses and support the pregnancy. Now, this beta SCG or the pregnancy test is positive in the, after the conception from 6 to 10 days of implantation of the oocyst. And in other words, it is 14 days of the last menstrual cycle. This will be positive in the urine. Now the urine test is less sensitive because uh, the detection level of the beta CG is 20 to 50 international units per liter and the negative result may be seen in first week of the pregnancy. Now what are the possible ways to perform this pregnancy test? In good olden days people were doing biologic test on the urine. They were injecting urine to the animal and then they were sacrificing the animals and they were trying to find out corpus development of the corpus luteum. But nowadays immunological methods are more common. In the immunological uh, methods we use antibodies against beta CG unit and if it gives agglutination the test is positive. If there is no agglutination the test will be negative. Now the false negative test may be seen when the SCG level is less than 25 to 50 international units per liter. And even the false negative result may be seen if the urine contains protein, drugs, bacteria, or white blood cells. And the false negative res uh, results may be seen if the reagent is kept at the room temperature for a long period of time if the ex there is extreme urine pH and if the urine is diluted. And the more accurate method is the radio amino assay. So as regards the normal, in the non-pregnant woman, pregnancy test will be negative. While in the pregnant woman, this test will be positive after 11 days of the conception and urine positive after 12 to 14 days of conception 
and peak level of beta CG is between 8 to 11 week of pregnancy. Then where is the level? It is given in the labpedia.net. If you go to our website, you can find more detail on the pregnancy test or the beta SCG level. So I will recommend to go to our website, labpedia.net, labpedia.net, and thank you for listening to me.